what rights do you have to say that I don't deserve to be happy, I don't deserve to be satisfied with my current situation, to be somehow like proud of myself, that seems like a sin. Like Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about people who burst your bubble. So I know so many, so many people in my life, unfortunately, they burst my bubble just because maybe I'm in a really good mood or I'm happy about something and they just like to burst my bubble for no apparent reason. And my cat's around behind me. And it is so, so, so annoying. Especially, I don't know why, especially men. So a lot of times I have men just burst my bubble whenever I'm like happy or achieving something. Oh, Colin, what are you doing? So whenever I'm happy or achieving something, they just like to say, oh, that's not that great. That's not even that big of a deal. You don't have to be so happy about it and all that. And it is so annoying. And other times, I have male friends tell me that you shouldn't break up with your boyfriend or your ex because you wouldn't be able to find better. I just hate it. I just hate it when people do that. What rights do you have to say that I don't deserve better in life? What rights do you have to say that I don't deserve to be happy? I don't deserve to be satisfied with my current situation, to be somehow like proud of myself. That seems like a sin. Like some people just don't like to see that you are having great time. Some people just don't like to see that you're satisfied with life. They just want to see you miserable. They just want to put you down. They just want to do whatever way they can to make you feel bad. This video is about just leaving those people in their own like little pity hall. You don't have to interact with those fake friends. If friends make you feel bad constantly and it is not like for your own good, they just want to make you feel bad for the sake of making you feel bad, they're not true friends. So stop being friends with them, okay? It is 2019, we should kick out those toxic people, leave those toxic people into their little toxic bubbles, and learn to be happy. Learn how to be solo and happy. It is perfectly okay to be solo, it is perfectly okay to have no like friends, because the last thing you want is fake friends, okay? Why do you want fake friends? You want real friends, and before you find real friends, it is even better to just be yourself, be with yourself, and enjoy the moment you have, the solitary feeling you have when you're just alone with yourself until you find real friends because there's no point finding, you know, those substitute fake friends. You know some people, the moment you meet them and you're like, oh, this person's not a true friend, but you just want to have a companion. So you're like, okay, I'll settle, I'll get a lunch buddy or whatnot. That is not healthy because fake friends, they only ruin your mood. They ruin your overall feeling, they ruin your positivity, and they just suck up your energy. It is not worth it. Having a fake friend is absolutely not worth it in any circumstance, even at school. Yeah, it might look weird if you're eating lunch alone, but rather than being with fake friends who drain your energy, I might as well, you know, eat lunch alone. I don't see why I have to have a placeholder friend. Alright, so this video went a little uh, sidetracked, but I hope you guys got the message. Leave toxic people in their toxic bubbles. Don't have to compromise with toxic people's message or don't have to listen to what toxic people have to say. If they constantly put you down, they're not your true friend. And 2019 is a year where we should be true to ourselves and get true friends instead of fake friends. And we don't want any placeholder friends, okay? I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you guys next time. Bye!